made the three cubbies, and she loves her cubbies, but on the last, we had a pullback because the other bears became very aggressive towards the cubbies, because you have to keep in mind, as beautiful as these animals are, all these animals are territorial. You can make it space to get the back. inside the mama's pouch because the kangaroos are marsupials and that means mama's got a pouch and the baby lives in the pouch for about six months in and out in and out so sometimes up close like and personal you might see a mama standing up and see a little head sticking out or you might see two little feet sticking out because they climb in head first they turn around and they pop right This is the scimitar arch. Can you put the baby down, please? Hold the baby down. Thanks, sir. This is the scimitar arch. Arch means deer, antelope. Scimitar is a bird sword. They get their name from the bird sword. That species of animal is extinct in the wild. Two years ago, they were, the whole herd was brought back to Chad in Central Africa here, and the herd is flourishing. So what we're doing is that we have an arrangement where we try to bring back animals that are on the verge of extinction to increase the herd population. Take a look at the birds on the ground over here. Right, we'll take a look at our giraffe. Look how the giraffe walks. The left legs and the right legs. The left leg. That's called the parallel gait. The reason why that happens is those legs are six feet long. They can't open the door like the dog would. Birds you see on the left, the gray birds, and that is the golden crown crane. That was the national bird of Uganda. You know what I'm Here we go. So we have the elephants that you saw years ago. Okay? These are the African elephants. These are the largest plane mammals in the world. They can get up to about seven tons. That's 14,000 pounds of elephant. There's 100,000 muscles inside that trunk that are to twist and bend and bring the food and water up to their mouth. These elephants, now this is great. Take a look on the left. Look at the tusks on the one on the left. We have a long one and a short one. That's not unusual to see a long and short tusk. Because the short side is the dominant side, so they use that more often, so it flares down. So when you see an elephant with a long and short, you can tell them by the left, it's by the short side. Now we have 1,200 animals here on the property, and a lot of people have this. Look at these animals in the cold Jersey winter. On the right side, we have over 50 barns on the property. These animals stay here all year round. We have two full-time veterinarians. We have the medical staff, the veterinary What do you saw, Rahi? Elephant? What is elephant? 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 As the animal gets older, the tusks will get shorter. The elephants are going to live about 80 years. They have eight sets of teeth. And the teeth are all gone, they can't eat anymore. And most of the elephants will go to that big elephant and the hotel to stop because of malnutrition. Take a look at our 
Yogi Zebra is up there. These babies were born just about two weeks ago. When the zebras are born, within 20 minutes, within 20 minutes they can walk. Within an hour, the zebras can run. And just like a fingerprint, no two zebras have the same stripes. Uh, right on the right side. The original elephants from 1974, the original rhinos from 1974. These guys have been here for 45 years. These are white rhinos, they're not really white. It's just a mispronunciation of their wide flat upper lip. The horns are made of the same.